I'm just going to play a little video of me talking to a girl in Warsaw. And we're going to watch this and then we're going to pull out some salient points from this infield. Okay, so. And I thought, those eyes are very pretty. Thank you. And, uh, and then I thought, I'm English gentleman. And I thought, I have to say something because if I don't, I'll be letting down the queen. R.I.P. Thank you. And so um, we didn't quite see the very beginning of this, but this is a very classic sort of um, sort of way to introduce yourself. So I've gone up to her. We didn't quite get the beginning. The cameraman obviously didn't get it, but I've gone up to her and I basically said that she's got nice eyes. And I'm saying to her, and I think the reason was because it was around the time of the Queen's death, untimely death last year. Um, I think I'm saying to her, I had to do this because otherwise I'd be letting down the Queen. So I'm kind of making a slight joke around that. Obviously, I'm foregrounding the fact that I'm English, but I've gone in with a direct compliment. I basically said she's got pretty eyes. You are, I'm Troy. I'm you Sophia. are? So Sophia? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Handshake. Okay, handshake early on. Now, handshake is, in the big scheme of things, you could say a little bit bland, but um, it is good to establish some form of physical contact early on in the interaction, okay? Because you want to get that, you want to break down that touch barrier as soon as possible. You want to get each other comfortable with kind of touching each other. It's not this awkward, scary thing. You are from Warsaw? From Poland? Uh, no, Ukraine. Oh, nice, okay. Slava Ukraine. <laughs> and from Kiev or Kiev? Uh, yeah, I was in Kyiv uh, in October last year. It's a very cool city. So, pretty simple conversation here, but um, <clears throat> I establish, and you'll notice that I'm, I'm kind of asking her questions, really, but I'm trying to frame them more as statements. So I'm saying, ah, oh, so you're from Poland? She's like, no, no, I'm, I'm from Ukraine. I was like, ah, oh, Ukraine, Slav Ukraini. And then I say, so you're from, you're from Kyiv. Now, you know, it could be she's from Lviv, it could be she's from Odessa, it could be she's from Donetsk or whatever, right? But I'm I'm, pu I'm putting that out there as an assumptive statement to see what she comes back with. Now, she confirms that she's from Kiev, okay? Now, this then leads me into a topic to talk to her about because I have been to Kiev, right? I've been there many times. It's a great city, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So now I've got something to to chat to her about, and that's the purpose of the initial thing. You know, find out something about her so that you can maybe hit on a little topic that maybe you guys can have a a, a little bit of a vibe around, a little bit of a conversation around. <laughs> it's one of my. I, 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 well, I, I've been to Kiev many, quite a few times. Mm -hmm. I I haven't. I wish I'd travelled more in Ukraine, but Kiev I I love very much. It's very cool. So one thing you will notice here is that my eye contact with her is pretty strong, right? You can see here, you know, I'm talking about Kiev. I'm sort of thumping my chest with patriotic fervor for her country. But you can see my eye contact. I'm looking at her directly. Um, she's obviously looking back at me. It's quite um, intense. And this is what you want to do, right? So the conversation on the top level can be fairly... I mean, particularly in a situation like this, where this this lady is um, Ukrainian and probably doesn't speak a huge amount of English, okay, which is fine, and we'll get into that in another video. But um, the key thing really is that you are, whatever is being said on the surface, the eye contact is strong because the eye contact is going to do a lot of the work for you. And I have many, like, friends from there who now they're living here. Mm -hmm. Whatever, so. I'm studying here, but I'm from Donetsk. From Donetsk, really? Okay. Oh, well, she was from Donetsk. OK, cool. So that was interesting because what you, you'll notice what happened then was after I'd been sort of driving the conversation forward by kind of asking her stuff or making those statements. Now, all of a sudden, she is advancing the conversation. She's she's now without me asking her. She's now put forward another piece of information, which is that she was actually from Donetsk, but she was studying in Kiev. OK, that's quite a good sign. Right. Because she's prolonging the conversation. If she was completely uninterested. Right. Why would she seek to, you know, make the conversation go on longer? So when she starts to give her give some fee some input herself unbidden. Right. That's generally a good thing. And how long have you been in Warsaw for? Um, <laughs> so at, at that point, um, because she's 
done that to continue the conversation, right? I then I'm able to make the assumption. Okay, well, look, I'm not saying she's madly in, in love with me or anything, obviously, but there's at least you know she's at least fine with having this conversation. Okay, so at that point, I'm able to sort of tone down it a little bit. I don't have to rely on statements the whole time. I can sort of ask questions a bit more and be a little bit more just like normal conversational at this point. Okay. Because um, now it's more like, okay, right. So we've met, there's clearly a little bit of a, a nice vibe here. So now let's just actually get to know each other a little bit. You know, what are you, what are you up to? How long have you been here? Blah, blah, blah. Remember as well with an interaction like this, of course, with the language barrier, you're not necessarily going to get the Oscar Wildean wit that you might hope for because, you know, there's a limit to the amount you can say, but regardless, that's not so important because the important thing really is the eye contact and the fact the conversation is happening in the first place. Month. Month yeah. Since the March or yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And do you like Warsaw? Yeah. What's your favorite thing about it? I think it's got a good vibe. I think it's got a nice atmosphere to it. You know, nice feeling to it. And what do you study? So you're going to psychoanalyze me? <laughs> That's what everyone says. When you, if you say, I study psychology, everyone says, are you going to psychoanalyze me? Uh, but uh, oh, I, I, don't, I, I, don't know, uh, I don't speak English well, so. No, your, English is, your English is good. No, no. Yeah. My, my Ukrainian, it's... Uh... Maybe Ukrainian <laughs> or Polish, no. So... You know, this is all kind of quite lighthearted and nice and stuff. I think, again, the important thing here really is the eye contact, okay? Because what we're saying on the surface is, you know, it is it is what it is, right? It's not, as I say, Oscar Wilde and level wit. But what is happening throughout this, and you'll notice um, in that little bit before, I just use the, 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 the opportunity um, to sort of turn my body into her and sort of move myself towards her in a slightly sort of more commanding, flirtatious manner. Okay, let's have a look at that. Your English is good. No, no. Yeah. My, my Ukrainian, it's... Uh... Maybe Ukrainian. <laughs> it's quite intense eye contact, you can see that. Polish? <laughs> no. Uh, uh What's the other? Uh, Cinquia. And what is it about psychology that interests you? I missed that little bit. Hold on a second. Let's have a look. Oh, I, I don't... I, I don't know... Uh, I don't speak English well, so... No, your, English is, your English is good. No, no. Yeah. My, my Ukrainian, it's... Uh... Maybe Ukrainian <laughs> or Polish, no? Uh, Zhin Okay, I missed, I missed the bit I was going to... I'm not going to keep speeding back, but I missed the bit I was going to show you. But regardless, anyway, the, the key thing here, I think, as I say, is the eye contact. So watch the eye contact. <laughs> uh, what's the... Uh, Cinquia. And what is it about psychology that interests you? No, psychology. What? Why did you choose psychology? I don't understand. Why psychology? Ah, because, uh, I know, I like it. All right, so what I'm trying to do here, of course, is to do something that my friend Michael, Dr. Silk, uh, who you may have seen on my, channel, my other channel before, um, he's an expert in empathetic communication, right? What you want to be doing is trying with these conversations to take it to a slightly deeper level. And that's sort of what I'm attempting here. So she studies psychology. So now I'm trying to dig into, okay, but what is it? What is it about psychology? Why does that fascinate you? And what I really am hoping she's going to say is something like, well, you know, the human mind, human motivations, human interactions, they fascinate me because of X, Y, and Z. And then we can get into that. The issue that we're having here is, of course, this is not her first language, right? So short of taking out Google Translate, which is another thing you can absolutely do. I don't choose to do it here, but you can you can absolutely do that, certainly on a date. There's going to be a limit maybe to how deep you want to go or you're able to go. But if this if she was um, if we were able to both speak the same language, then this would be quite an interesting route to go down, right? Because it's it's rather than just the superficial shit of like, oh what bars do you like, what clubs do you like? You know, now we're getting into okay, but what really motivates you, right? Because you want to be doing two things at the same time, right? On the one hand you want to be being uh, flirtatious with her you want to be having that that cheekiness that laughter that like the strong eye contact and stuff but equally at the same time you want to be getting to know her on a deeper level as well and genuinely like trying to understand her what her passions are what her interests are why she's fascinated with the things that fascinate her okay you need to be doing both of those two things in a sort of pincer movement at the same time
People. The mind. People and mind and the soul. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. You seem like very, um, you seem like you have a very insightful, yeah. you see like, like you like to observe people. That's cool. And tonight? So I pay her a compliment there. So I kind of do what you might call a cold read, which is that I, I sort of say, oh, you seem to be very insightful. I, I get the sense. What I'm saying is I get the sense that you have this side to you. You know, you're very analytical. You understand people, et cetera, et cetera. OK, so I'm and, and I, I then say that's cool. Right. So I'm paying her a compliment. And this is something that my friend Michael, Dr. Silk, talks about as well, which is that you can pay a compliment. It doesn't have to be a physical compliment. I'm not saying to her, hey, baby, you're hot. I'm complimenting her on something, but it's something that is, is organic to her. And it's not a physical thing, right? It's I'm complimenting her on what I've perceived to be her insightfulness, her, her interest in, in understanding the human mind. All right. So there's a difference. What, are you, what will you do? Yeah. And uh, speak away to my friend. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, maybe um, I have to meet my friends over there, but maybe we can exchange numbers and I send you a message. You have WhatsApp? Uh, Instagram, maybe. No. <laughs> okay. Um, this weekend? Tomorrow, you have plan? No. <laughs> Will you return to uh, Ukraine when? No, I'm here. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Cool. Okay. Okay. All right, Sophia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. Okay, so there you go. So I got her Instagram. Now, actually, as it was, um, she did end up responding. We messaged and then she came out. And we met and, and so on. So that was successful. Um, now, some people will say, well, it doesn't count. You know, you shouldn't get Instagram, blah, blah, blah. Um, it doesn't count unless it's a phone number. I personally, a small interaction. Obviously, the language barrier was not helpful um, because it was hard to get onto that deeper level. But the key point is... I mean, but never what what you can see there, as I say, I think the eye contact was good and I think the energy was quite good. And I think that was a girl who'd actually sort of checked me out um, as we've been walking down the street, right? So I think there was some nascent interest there with her. And it was really just a question of like, okay, right, I need to get some contact details so then I can message her and then we can hopefully set something up. And then once you're in a date environment, obviously it's going to be a lot easier to, um, this is obviously going to be a lot easier to like actually sit down with her and you can then start to use Google Translate and make yourself understood in a more visceral, in a more sort of deeper level, if that makes sense. Um, they better choose Troy as the next James Bond, Redfield, Infield, un unheard of, cool cameo. The force is strong with this one. <laughs> Myself, Les and Troy have produced the linchpin course to take you from nice, innocent boys, to highly sexual men with unlimited dating options. Edge three is coming. And then the Edge 3 plus Bogota Bootcamp, which is the crazy kind of graduation bootcamp, anything goes bootcamp, night game, day game, grey area dating app game, anything goes in March 2024. It's going to be absolutely amazing. This has been a long time in the pipeline. Myself and Troy have redeveloped the previous Edge course and we're combining 25 years worth of experience in the elite men's dating industry to bring you a course which is going to change your lives. We've got some of the world's leading experts for different areas. The linchpin areas, sexual change, developing sexual confidence, Mr. Bonaparte, elite sex coach for men, and we've got Dave Lee, the male hormone optimization side of things, who bring in vast amounts of knowledge, and a host of other experts, myself, Les McCoy, coaching you every step of the way, we're developing the cold approach and the dating process as well. It's going to be incredible. Get in touch, info at jameshuss.com, include your WhatsApp number, and the title, Edge3, in the email. We'll see you there.